Okay, guys, I guarantee after you watch this video, you're going to be doing something with your system and it might be a big improvement and it's free. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, welcome back to the channel. Yes, I'm a little dressed up for you today. Actually, no, I got a Christmas party I got to go to. So I want to film this real quick, this intro for a great video. In fact, I didn't even film most of this video. Uh, it was filmed by Jeff at Blue Jeans Cable. And I hinted at this in a video I did a week ago. If you recall, if you watch this video, Bob, one of my members, bought Via Blue Cables. But one of the channels wasn't working. It wasn't the cable, though. It was the terminals on his amp. And after he's now, he's actually gone even further from that video. And I'll have follow-up video where he changes out the terminals with the terminals via Blue sent him for free. They're, they're fixing other people's stuff. That's why these are the companies I represent. Not only do they provide a superior product, but they're actually helping a customer with somebody else's defective product to make sure it works. And I'm going to have a whole video of how to change that. But it also parlays into the other vendor I uh, represent for cables, Jeff with Blue Jeans Cable. And why I represent them? Because at each of these budget points, these are the companies that give me the most comfort that they're giving the highest value and top-notch performance that even exceeds far greater budgets. And with Jeff, they do that sonic welding inside to make sure the connector behind the hood. And also, Bob's going to show you another cable he has. He kind of breaks it down, show you some problems. Uh, but in any case, Jeff was talking to me about, yeah, he actually measures the speaker terminal and cable, uh, speaker cable interface and has found differences in those connectors and the quality of that connection. You remember in that video, I told you one of his big tips is to reseed his connections at least every month or so because of vibrations, humidity, just redoing those connections can make a measurable difference. And I asked him, can you film this for me? And he did. And I was like, I started to step back and think, you know, I had a lot of goals when I started this channel. Uh, I was like, I wanted to change show coverage. I wanted to be more raw, immediate, and, you know, mission accomplished there. Uh, I wanted to introduce DSP, and I wanted to show that how I learned DSP and how measurements correlated to what I heard, and then how that made all the difference in the world. Stop spinning your wheels with nebulous jargon and worrying about if it, you know, all these nebulous things and who to trust, who not to trust with subjective reviews uh, and mission accomplished there with the Bach and all the tool direct even before that I showed you guys. But another thing I wanted to do when I pivoted to being quote a dealer is only representing these type of companies that do stuff outside the norm or represent a uh, huge value and performance for the money. And one of the things that stood out to me about Jeff and Blue Jeans Cable is that they have such a long pedigree and they put so much attention to connections, which I've said many times, if you've been following me, that's where a lot of people hear the difference in cables. They don't realize that's what it is. They may attribute it, oh, it was a silver, it was rhodium connector on this one, it was uh, this geometry. Those can have a difference. Uh, and actually, some people have done studies, even a university did a study that showed that sometimes cables can make a difference on uh, subjectively that are hard to measure. But if you look at these studies in a lot of detail, the one that always comes out ahead is usually the one that measures the best, whether it's inductance, capacitance, uh, resistance. Um, and there's a lot of manufacturers out there that don't even measure this stuff. They can't even measure the cable that they make. Imagine that. That's crazy to me. Uh, but there has been proof that conductors and types of conductors and geometry can make a difference, but in most cases, I would argue it's the connection and the quality of that connection. And over time, just when you put in a new cable and you're reseeding it from what was legacy in your system, you may have just improved that one little connection and that's what you're hearing as the benefit. Or that cable has a better connection. And over time, that conductor that, hey, maybe you wanted silver, maybe you wanted copper, that might have a slight advantage initially. But over time, some of these conductors 
can oxidize, can have corrosion, can have issues. And actually, Bob's going to show you that with a with a major label cable in a video coming up. But I'm just trying to get to the point of there's so many things that get overlooked in cables, yet it's always brought up on the forums. This cable debate every day on Facebook, cables don't matter, cables do matter. But never... They're usually the polar extremes, you know, like it's all subjective and measurements don't matter or it's all measurements and no no cable matters. Look, I'm not going to judge your system. If you use Amazon basis, basic cables, I'm totally fine with that. I'm not going to judge you. But we're in a hobby that is about high end audio and there are things that you can do to improve the metrics of that construction. There are some people that just do fluff and make-believe and exotic physics to try to sell you that, but there are companies that are actually doing something superior with the, how they make the connections, the quality of conductors they use, the stuff that you saw even with the speaker terminals with Via Blue and their connections. There are people doing stuff that is high-end, that can be measurable and translate to what you hear. And so that's what I wanted, so proud of these companies that I represent and the, all these debates that we have daily, ask yourself after you watch this video from Jeff, when have you seen any other dealer do a, a demo like this? Another manufacturer do a demo like this? Anybody at the show, any other press do anything like this? And why not? Why haven't we focused on this little thing called seating your connectors into the, the uh, speaker terminals and knowing which type of connector can potentially give you better, less resistance? And now let me go ahead and get this disclaimer out the way. Even though he measures a difference in different conductor, uh, connector types with a speaker terminal, it doesn't mean 100% it's going to be audible. But if you can reduce resistance and it's measurable, that is objectively a superior connection. And so it gives you the most potential to hear something different. And Bob, when he does his video, is going to tell you about his experience with the Via Blue Cables with the the uh, new binding post, and he was extremely impressed by what he heard after improving that one little connection. So take Jeff's tip as you'll hear and hear. I think you might even improve your system without spending one penny. Enjoy. Hey there, fellow junkies. Uh, thanks for coming by my workstation. Jason wanted me to uh, talk a little bit about some things you can do to maintain uh, your system and also a little bit about uh, connectivity right so we tend to think about particularly cables I guess is my thing is you think about the cable itself uh, what specs it has when you look it up and um, it's really important to think also about how the connectors are attached to the wire and then how the connectors that are attached to the wire interface with the posts that you have because this is going to give you some different results and that's going to affect the actual performance of the cable based on uh, the spec that you're assuming it's going to follow, right? So, I mean, one easy thing that I like to do is uh, just reseat all my connections, right? RCA speaker, everything. Every month or two, uh, just take it out and put it back in there. Take a look at it, make sure everything looks fine. Um, you know, obviously there's a lot of vibrations going on, uh, so especially if you have subwoofers or something, that's probably a good thing to do. Um, uh, contact cleaner can help if you uh, have a lot of humidity or something like that, where you're noticing uh, discoloration on the gold. Uh, Pro Gold is a good product, we like that. Um, but you know, it, honestly it comes down to the build quality in a lot of ways. So. These kind of look the same. Um, they're both ultrasonically welded to the wire. The welds look great. Um, these are the locking style bananas, and these are BFAs, which is a bit British Federation of Audio. Um, and it's a standard used in the UK to be compatible with their electrical system. So it has a hollow point core. And then these often get used in banana posts these days, but. Um, I'm here to tell you it's not the right choice. Now it feels tight in there, and we'll take a look here and see what we get down to. Yeah, you know, about 15 hundredths of an ohm or thousandths of an ohm or whatever that is. 
the absolute number here isn't really important. It's the difference is what we're looking at. So that's the BFAs. And then uh, here's the locking bananas. And I'm going to put them in, but I'm not going to lock them down. And now I'm going to see what rating we get, just for fun. Okay. So it's pretty close to the BFAs, actually. Um, so that's cool. So now let's put them in. We'll reinsert them. And now we'll tighten them down. And now let's see. And this is loop resistance that I'm measuring here, which you know is going to tie into the overall load that your amp sees along with your speaker. Hey, look at that. Much, much lower. All I did is tighten those down from being in a loose position. So that shows both that reseeding your connections and also choosing the right ones to begin with are going to get you better results. So that's all I have for now, but if you think of any questions, uh, please save them up and uh, we'll try to get to all your different cable connectivity questions. See you later.